Wicked Witches, I am going to show you a spell that I'm doing for tonight. Um, we don't do spells that often, um, although I'm starting to get into them a bit more. I was much more of a kind of divination witch and uh, kind of like, I think I think, I think of myself as an action witch, like I, I do things. Um, but actually recently I've got, I've been getting really good results from doing spells and it's not I don't believe in spells in a I'm a Capricorn so I'm half and half I'm half fish and half goat and the fishy part of me is like no I totally believe in it and then the goat part of me is like I think that um, it's just physically doing something makes you feel uh, like you're you're moving you're already in action you know like to, to walk a pilgrimage to walk 500 miles from one end of the country to the other you just do a step and then you do another step and then you do another step like Kimmy Schmidt returning the handle you just do one thing at a time and then the next thing you know you're there and that's the same with the spell it's like I, I have had a couple of things happen now three things happen now that you know I did spells and they and they've worked um, and they've all been you know like developing boundaries and I built uh, built <laughs> um, I wrote and drew um, images and stuff on eggs and then would eat the egg and it was like and it said boundaries on it and it was images and symbols that I felt supported my idea of me developing my boundaries and and then someone after a year of me doing that said you've got much clearer boundaries and I was like wow it's working <laughs> and I feel it now as well like I feel really strong and that's what that era's rune um, me pulling that for the last pilgrimage felt like as well it was like telling me that I'm strong I, I feel really strong, I, I feel really powerful, I feel like a superhero, I look that one as well. Um, so I think they do work and then there was also someone that I just, uh, we, we our relationship had really gone sour um, and, and it was actually in an area of like, legal area of, you know, sourness um, and I needed to just like feel protected from what I knew was like kind of bad juju coming at me and so I did a protection spell just to protect myself and I feel fine now it, it all that did was um, calm my nervous system so if you're feeling threatened it's a really good thing to do to just make you feel less stressed and like not be thinking about it the whole time um, and then recently I did one that was for um, building new relationships so it was like a forging forging friendship um, spell and and it's worked and new friendships have been forming that I'm like really excited about and really pleased about so it's kind of like calling in love it was a, a bridge building one um, and I'm gonna do one tonight which is about um, burning bridges but it's just unbinding from people and I feel like I've not actually done a spell yet to unbind me from my ex-husband um, who I love dearly and I you know I don't wish him any ill and I don't regret being married to him or anything but I am getting married in May and even though we got divorced it kind of happened really easily and kind of without any drama and it it's almost like it doesn't feel like it really happened and I just feel like I need to do something to just say right it definitely is over like that's I mean it was over but it's just a, a full stop so um so I'm going to do one tonight and what I've got is um and it's a good mood to be doing it under because it's Gemini and Sagittarius He's Sagittarius and his birthday's um, on the cusp. And like the amount of people I know born around then, like I feel like this point in time is really powerful, but it also feels like it's very much him energy. So for me, it feels like a good time to do this. So I've just written his name and our marriage on here, uh, putting it in the bowl. And then I'm pouring some salt on top. I always use molden salt because I'm from Essex and it connects me to my roots. And then I've got two candles which I'm going to rub with oil. Um, I'm gonna rub them with uh, rose oil because I'm going into a new marriage where I'm gonna be called Jolie Rose. So this oil is like, you know, moving on, I'm past you and this is uh, I'm something else now. And then I'm gonna etch runes onto them. I'll etch my rune and I don't even know what his rune is. I mean, that's what's so crazy. I'll look up what the Sagittarius rune is and use that. Our relationship so <laughs> didn't make any sense. Um, and then you tie a piece of string between the two. So I'll put it on top and then I've got a piece of dried lemon which goes on the top and that's just to like um, like refresh, a refreshing start. I'm also going to scatter chilli flakes over the top because that just represents like giving it fire, the fire of Sagittarius season just to fortify it and strengthen it. And then you place the candles 
in like that and then I'll tie some string between them um, and once the candles get down a certain height and I'll film this uh, the string will set on fire and it will burn and separate so it just means that um, it just you know physically manifests or visually demonstrates and illustrates the breaking of the bonds between us and then that's that's you know just feels like a full stop at the end of it so it's not with any ill will or anything but it's just a, a way of breaking that kind of connection in my heart and, and uh, you know um, spirit I've also got a crystal that I'll put in there as well which is another purifier so it's just all things that purify and cleanse and just sort of start afresh which this moon energy is Sagittarius fire and then Gemini air and it's just a really good time to clear the air clear the head clear everything ready for going into a creation hibernation time. So a really good time to um, get off social media. I'm gonna be doing my digital detox after this ceremony and going to creation hibernation. So this is like the clearing the air before getting involved with the juicy creative winterness. So yeah, hopefully that might be of use to you and it might be something you'd like to try too.